Hi designers, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you haven't explored Adobe Express yet, you probably better check it out. It does have a lot of similarities to Canva if you've seen it before, lots of starter templates, even video, social media templates. Adobe Express is integrating a lot of AI now. And what's nice about that is if you're using the Creative Cloud, when you update a Photoshop or Illustrator file, it updates automatically in Adobe Express where it's placed in your project. So in another video, I showed how you can use generative text to create images in Photoshop. And I believe with just the most recent update to Photoshop, you can use generative AI directly in it without having to install the beta. So what I want to look at today is text effects. And this is really impressive. So right here, you can create text using all sorts of textures and elements very quickly. So for instance, if I just click on one of these, look how quickly it converts live text into this realistic style cactus. And here in the left sidebar, it gives us even more options with that styled. All right, so let's start with some new text and we are going to make it out of feathers. And as we're exploring text effects, it doesn't give you every font, but it'll give you a good range of serifs, sans serifs, and some thicker and thinner font weights. So let's just choose News Gothic, and let's just say Feathers for the description up here in the top left. And it's going to take some time to load, and we can rescale it. And here under Results, I can look at some other options, and each time you click, it will take some time to load. We can change it from realistic to a neon appearance, and then you'll need to click generate again. And that's looking very cool. Let's go ahead and change the background. And now when we go back to our main text, you can use any of your fonts now or upload fonts to further customize. So let's add a new page and try some other options and some other styles. So with our text selected, go to text effects, and they've got a bunch of sample effects. And you can go to view all, click through those. Here is where I saw the carved wood that I thought was pretty cool. And you can add shadows to it. Let's do another one. It's even pretty cool that you can insert some signage and label options. So I thought that one was really nice and elegant. And then for each layer you create, you can change the opacity of the layer. There's not really a hide that I found for the layer. All right, so now that we have a graphic, I can click in and select the text. And again, it has some recommendations for fonts. And under text effects, let's type in a description of the style we want to create with the text. And that's giving us a bit of black around the snowflakes, which would look better on a black background. So that might be one pitfall of using the generative text if it's forcing you into a particular color palette. So even with changing the fill of the text to white, it's still giving some dark outlines within the generated fill. So it's looking like this is gonna look best with a black background. And now what I'm wondering is how do you copy this text effect. It looks like what I'm going to need to do is duplicate this text now by right clicking and duplicate and remove the other text layer to generate using that same effect. A light pastel background is looking pretty good too. It's kind of a cutout 3D effect. Adobe Express does have some color themes which will allow you to explore some other palettes very quickly. And I just learned that you can use the shuffle to help you switch through the background color and text. Let's just go ahead and click through some of these other text effects. So basically there's anything you can imagine plus some included in Adobe Express. So have fun with it and create something cool. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.